Speaking of what you're talking about now, um, aptly titled Better Man biopic, are you? How involved are you in that? Uh, I'm very, I'm very involved. Um, Michael Gracie, that helmed The Greatest Showman, it was a huge movie, massive success. Is uh, a mate of mine and asked me if he could do a biopic about me. And uh, yeah, yeah, of course you can, wow. Michael Gracie. Yeah, <laughs> and I sat down and I, I told him my stories. And uh, I told him my stories for 12 hours. Um, so the whole script is in my words and is my voice. Um, but down to who is cast in whatever roles, um, yeah, no. Um, it's my music. It's my music. It's my words. John o Davies is, is, is you. Yeah, John o Davies is me doing a great job as me. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, it's... I, I've seen some of the rushes and uh, there's quite a big idea for the film. Once again, it breaks with type and it's not your usual, you know, it's, um, it, it's, it's got every opportunity to be a success. And for somebody that doesn't like anything that they've ever done, it takes a lot for me to say that. So does it not scare you bringing your children into the public eye? Uh, they're in the public eye, whether they want to be or not. Does and it not scare you? Yeah, absolutely terrifies me. From 16, the press are allowed to do whatever they want with them. You know, at the moment in this country, in the UK, they're not allowed to show their faces. But after they become 16, they're, they're, they're public property. And it's difficult to know what to do, especially, as I've mentioned, Teddy before. She's my 10-year-old that just wants to be a performer. And there are moments that I really want to have with her. You know, I want that moment where I'm on stage with her, singing with her and having that daddy daughter moment. And I get to show the world this beautiful creature that I'm incredibly proud of. Uh, and she gets to, you know, it's like, it, it is difficult to know what to do. Do you introduce her to this? Because this is what you're going to do. Do you get used to it? I don't know. Every day's a school day. At the minute, you know, their their privacy is ensured, at least in the UK. Uh, but then they become, then they become other. That being said, I, I love their mom, and their home life is um, incredible and loving and safe and if i could choose to be anyone i'd choose to be any one of my children they have the best life <laughs> um but yeah it's it is it is it is a conundrum um obviously i never want them to have the internet i never want them to be able to read any comments about themselves i know what damage that does i know what online trolling has done to me and my psyche and it it pains me to think that they would ever inhabit anything that feels like that. What about the know. classmates? Do they get treated differently at school? No, because they're in posh school. It's like, you know... We're, but we're, even there, there's a hierarchy, though, isn't there? Dude, dude, yeah. we're the poorest at school. It's not like... <laughs> it's not... It's not... It's not Honestly, we are the poor relations. Believe me. Are there other sort of celebrity parents? Are there? Are you at parents' evening and there's like, you know, here's, I can't think of an English celebrity right now, but you know what I mean. No, well, at the moment they, they're homeschooled, but they do, they do have a school that they go to when they're in Los Angeles and mm -hmm. there, are, there are different places where they can find being social and having a semi-school life but um yeah when whenever they're there it's like you know p diddy's the dad of the one above and you know it's 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 all that stuff it's like i i and like financially i pale into insignificance when it comes to these big hitters that have got the kids at the schools that my kids frequent 